Coast did here in Fort Worth last weekend. Chopped up the middle, fielded by Chatagnier, but he can't get rid of it in time. And able to beat the 10th pitch of the at bat here to Powell. On the ground to Silva. He shovels for one over to first double play. Nicely turned by the Horn Frog. On the ground, back through the middle. Chatagnier could not get to it. He was. Runs in a hurry. That ball is drilled to deep right field. Going back, Boyers, he's able to turn around and make the catches. That ball for a couple of home runs, three stolen bases, and he drives this one to straightaway center field and deep. Faber back, he's got room and he makes the catch. Gonna be tough to get one out tonight with Roby. Delivers and Bowen shoots it through the right side for a base hit. And when Carson's going well, that's what he'll do with two strikes. He just middle. And Curtis takes that one inside for ball four. That one back up the middle and through for a base hit. Rounding third and heading home is Carson Bowen as the throw goes to third. And TCU has a 1-0 lead here in the bottom of the first inning. Co player of the week in the league. Chopped slowly past the mound. It's going to be a tough play. And the second baseman, Mora, can't come up with it cleanly, so all hands are safe and the bases are loaded. Trying to do too much, taking the game as it comes. Drill to deep left center field. Thompson on the run, reaches up, makes the catch. The runner will tag and score as coming in from third base is Curtis Byrne to make it 2-0 TCU. Power. So far, that's played out. Boyer strikes out swinging to end the inning. On each other, your Texas, Texas Tech. Swing and a miss and down on strike. Swing and a miss and Thompson is down on strike. <laughs> Cut on and missed and Hampton with a terrific inning. Strikes out the Here's the pitch on the way. Brody Green rips this one towards the gap. It's going to split the outfielders. Get almost all the way to the wall. Green's hustling to second. The throw not in time. He's in with a double. Playing time. Lines this one in the left center field. Brody Green with a late jump. It's going to be wound around. The throw's cut off, and Green is hung up between home and third, and he's going to be tagged out. Going to second base is Myers on the play, and that's just a base running mistake there by Brody Green. Make the relay throw and get you out. That's okay, but that ball gets away. Myers is going to take off, and he makes it with a slide. Okay. In the dirt, gets away. Myers is going to score easily from third. Second wild pitch of the at bat. One out. Chatagnier drives it to left field for a base hit. Peyton with a big turn. Puts on the brakes as the ball comes back into the infield. Bowen hits this one in the air to center field. Plenty of room for Faber as he moves towards left center, to, or right center rather, to make the catch. The wrist brace, not the full. Uh... And they got him. Good move by. It's the Horned Frogs down at San Marcos last year, and he drives this one to deep left field. On the run is Myers, and he makes the catch before crossing in the foul. Here's the 0-2. Got him swinging. Fisted towards the right side. Chatagnier comes up with it, but nobody over there to cover the bag as play. On the ground, slowly hit towards first. Byrne picks it up, steps on the bag, inning over. Here tonight, transfer, transfer from Panola College. Good fastball at 93. Two balls and a strike on Peyton Tolley, who hits a slow roller back towards the middle. The shortstop on the right side of second base is able to make the play. Hits this one through the hole on the left side for a base hit. And I know both you and I. Um, hits this one sharply through the hole on the left side as well. Back to back base hits for the Horn Frogs here with two outs and they've run. This is a deep lineup. Boyers with a three hopper over to first base. Picked up by Patino for the final out of the inning. No runs, two hits. Two left for the Horn Frogs with through three. It's three nothing DCU. 
Green rips it in the left field for a base hit. One run scores, racing around third is Brunson. He will score. And TCU now with a 5 nothing lead. Two way. Fisted on the ground by Sam Myers. Right back to the box. Hall picks it up, flips. Got him swinging. And now you get a good. That one shot through the right side of the infield for a base hit and a good piece of hitting by Rashawn Galloway. As he doesn't try to do too much, just Chatnier up the middle and he hits it right where Chatnier normally would be standing for a base hit. The runner's going to go first to third on the play and the Bobcats will have, albeit early, this one's slowly hit back up the middle. Chatnier has it, goes to second for one. That's all they'll get. It was not hit hard enough. Cut on and missed. Hampton strikes him out for the second time. And a big bender. Ripped down the left field line. This one's going to get into the corner and rattle around. Myers over to pick it up and get it back into the infield, but not before Collier's. It was two for two. Drills this to deep left field. Myers on the run at the track at the wall. That one is off the fence. One run will score. Brunson was over to pick it up, and it's back-to-back -back doubles. Or at second, one away. Back through the middle, that's going to squirt through. Rounding third and heading home is Farber. The throw to the plate was in time, but it glanced off the glove of Carson Bowen. So Farber is in there. There goes the runner, cut on and missed. Ball got behind Carson Bowen. Pitch he gets a lot of swings and misses on. Shot hard off the glove of Chatagnier into shallow right field, and Chatagnier is able to get to it quickly enough. Let's see what Rodriguez dials up here. Fastball lifted in the air, center field. Plenty of room for Chase Brunson as he comes on underneath, and then he dropped the ball. Oh, Brunson dropped the ball. One, two. Slowly hit towards second. Chatagnier has it. Little sidearm toss over to first base. Suffering from a swing and a miss. Tolding might have got a piece of it, but he's on the ground towards short. Right there is Powell. Long throw in time, and they're two away. Next guy in the lineup. This guy's this one on the infield, calling for it as the second baseman, Mora, and he makes the catch a couple of steps down to the outfield here to start things off in the seventh. That one's lined in the left field for a base hit. Brunson over to cut it off, has problems picking it up, but Patino will hold with a leadoff single. Lined right to Chatagnier, and he's gonna turn it into a double play. A sophomore from Tomball swings through that one. And he's down on strikes. Hit the ball well both times he flied out to center field as he skies this one in the same direction. This one to shallow center field. The wind pushing it towards right center. Carson Bowen bounces that one through the right side of the infield. And that breaks the string of 10 straight. Could be two. They go to second for one, but it's through the legs of the second baseman. And what a great job of base running by Carson Bowen. He never slowed down as that flip. The shift is on for Toldy, and he chops this one towards second. Going to be tough to turn to. The only out they'll get is at first base. A run will score to make it a six. And he got him swinging. Three straight breaking ball. Strike three called. He struck him out for fear of hitting a batter. This one's in the air down the right field line, slicing towards foul territory. Boyers straddling the line, makes the catch for out. Point to do it, not surprising, he's going back to it. Line towards center field, Brunson dives, can't get to it, it gets behind him, and goes almost all the way to the wall. Lugo on his horse, all the way to second. On his way to third, the ball will get away. The throw is not in time, and it's an inside the park home run by Lugo, who can. It's really nice to have that peace of mind with a guy like that out there. This ball hit well to right field, but plenty of room for Boyers to camp underneath and put the squeeze on it for the final. Big 12 now 
on ESPN Plus. And Abelt hits the leadoff man. Abelt deals. This one's hit on the ground. Silva. Chatnye over to first double play. Little flare, and this one is going to drop in for a base hit. A valiant try by Silva. He's also had base hits. This one's in the air to right field and deep. Boyer's back into foul territory. Makes the catch, and the ball game is over. Luke Boyer's tracking that ball, able to circle around and make the catch, and TCU escapes.